Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning about how to fit and evaluate uh, multiple machine learning models uh, with a single line of code. So why we need to do this one? Because we will be facing a problem when we start a new machine learning project. Like you will be thinking uh, which machine learning algorithm works best on the given data. So what you will be doing, you will be trying to apply multiple algorithms and you will be evaluating all and finally choosing the best performing one. So for all this, you will be doing everything manually. So what if we have a solution where we don't need to do anything manually, we will be just writing single line of code and it will be doing all the things. So for this problem, we have a solution like we have a handy library called lazy predict. So what it will be doing is it will be training all the machine learning models in scikit-learn which are available in scikit-learn with a single line of code. So what is this lazy predict? So it is an open source Python package created by uh, Shankar Rao. So it will be generating all the basic machine learning models along with the evaluation metrics and the time taken by each model. So this evaluation metrics and the time taken by each models are very important to know like how much time every algorithm is taking and how every algorithm is performing. So by using these two things, you can decide what are the top uh, algorithms you need to focus on. So like every library has its own strengths and drawbacks. So the strengths of this library is it has a, uh, I mean, it automatically applies the data pre-processing for the given data set. Like it imputes missing values using the simple imputer and it also uh, feature scales the numeric features with standard scalar and for categorical features it will be using one hot encoder or uh, ordinal encoder so the, these are the inbuilt things for this library but if you want to use other than this one you need to do that manually so this library will be using only these things in a data pre-processing uh, stage so the drawbacks of this all, uh, library is it will be only it is available right now only for supervised learning algorithms not for unsupervised learning algorithms and the other thing and other, i mean other draw, drawback is it, it will not do it will not do any hyperparameter tuning like it only builds the base models uh, where you need to do the hyperparameter tuning on your own so these are the two drawbacks of this one but maybe like in future uh, these uh, they can get a new updates uh, which can support the unsupervised learning algorithms and also the hyperparameter tuning. You can also contribute to this uh, library if you are interested to um, learn things and apply things and if you are interested to some help some uh, some community you can do that one. So how you can install this like how you install other libraries you can use the same command pip install and lazy predict. So it will be installing the lazy predict library. So the next I will be showing a small demo on how to uh, use this library on classification and regression tasks. So just stay tuned. Okay, for the demo, I'll be using a data set uh, from the ongoing competition which we hosted where you can win some amazing prizes so i'll be using the same data set so i got link from that website so i just downloading that one and okay i got forbidden let me get the new link okay i got a new link let me keep that and download the files so i just downloaded it and you can unzip that one so we'll be importing the pandas library to load the data set so let me just unzip all the files. So we'll be having three files, uh, test data set, train data set and sample submission. So we are not caring about a test data set and sample submission. So we'll be caring about only train data set. So here we'll be loading the data set uh, into the data folder. So you can just uh, visualize uh, how the data set is here. Like we'll be having uh, open, high, low and the prices of that stock we need to predict the closing price of that stock so here five stocks are available you need to apply algorithms on all these five stocks and you need to predict the closing price so that is what the problem statement actually 
and this function helps to get the uh, data for every stock like we need to get the independent features and the dependent features separately for every stock so this function helps that uh, to get that in the, in that way so here we will be splitting the data set so we will be splitting into some 90 or 95 percent so i'm just using some uh, hard coded fixed values you can use the train test split uh, from the scikit-learn to do that one so i'm just splitting the data set here and then i'll making some copy of these data set to uh, to not disturb the original variable so i just made some copy and here we'll be importing the lazy predict library here i mean we here we'll first we need to install that one so once it is installed you can import that one so this is how you'll be doing the uh, importing the lazy predict library where you at present it only supports supervised so you need you'll be importing that one lazy predict dot supervised and in that we'll be having two functions uh, one is for classification and the other one is regression regression so first we'll be focusing on regression how to use this library for regression and this is where you'll be creating the object and you'll be giving the predictions true where you will be also getting the predictions for uh, from the every algorithm and we'll be having other uh, other parameters like whether verbose mode and random state and predictions and custom metric so whenever you have your own custom metric you can pass that as well if not it will be taking some default uh, uh, metrics to, to get the score of your algorithms and this is the line where you all the magic happens like you'll be uh, calling the fit function where you'll be passing the test and train data sets here so you'll be passing the train data set and test data set and the labels of the uh, labels or whatever the dependent variables so you'll be passing that one so once you run once you run this one so it will be applying all the available algorithms once it is done you can predict the models like it will return two things like this function returns two things one is models and the predictions so when you print the models you can see oh, the available models and the uh, metric scores of that one and the time taken by that algorithm so you can see it took some 0 0.03 4.09 and one for uh, huber regressor and sgd regressor is the next best one and then and then lasso cross valid uh, sorry lasso cv and then the other one these are the uh, available all the algorithms so you can see uh, it ran just it ran on many algorithms and it got all the scores and the time taken so what you can do is like you can take the top five or top ten and you can try to uh, improve these algorithms on the given data set so this is how it saves you a lot of time where you don't need to do anything manually and the other thing uh, from a part of this one is you can you can also print the predictions like what are the predicted values for every algorithm so this algorithm predicted these values uh, for the given test data uh, like you can see the all the predictions of all the algorithms so it also helps you to look uh, how good it predicted uh, i mean how good each algorithm predicted so these are the like two important things here the models and the predictions and then finally uh, next we get into the classification task so it is also very simple like you will be just so for this classification task like we'll be using the iris data set simple the small i mean uh, basic iris data set so we'll be just loading that data set from here we can directly load that data set from scikit-learn itself like scikit-learn data set there are a lot of available data sets so we'll be using the iris data set and then uh, we'll be just taking the train data set into the x i mean the independent variables into the x and dependent variable into the y and then finally we'll be splitting that uh, data set and here you'll be applying the classification i mean classification code like you'll be applying the lazy classifier and you can also print the verbose or ignore warnings uh, if you have any custom metric you can give that and you I know mean, if you want predictions if you want to see the predictions you can also give the predictions equal to true and then finally you'll be fitting with the uh, train and test data set so you'll be getting the models and predictions here as well so once it is done you can print the models so you can see there are a lot of available models and you can see the scores as well like accuracy roc AUC, maybe it is not working there is something wrong i guess so it will also be printing the f1 score and the time taken by every algorithm 
uh, the balance and accuracy and as well so you can take the top five or top 10 and you can try to improve that one so this is how like it it it, it like it, it, it really saves your time. You don't need to apply all these algorithms manually. You can just simply run this one line of code and you'll be getting everything. So once you done the predictions as well, you, it will also same like you'll be getting the predictions, the, cl the classes which every algorithm predicted. So it's that easy. Like you will be getting everything available uh, with just one line of code. And I'm also giving the link for the this project. Like if you want to go and check it out or if you want to contribute to that project, you can just go through this link and you can do that one. So it really helps uh, the community if you can contribute and if you can improve this library, it really helps everyone. So that's it for today's video. And I hope you learned something today and it will be, you can use this one to save your time and everything. So thank you so much for everyone watching until this time. And if you are new to this channel, Please do subscribe and uh, support us. Thank you.